Well, that wows them, huh? <laughs> this, this and you know the dress? American woman coming over and uh, and I have to tell you the wonderful thing about that dress that I was wearing the la the second one with all the layers yeah. was given to me by a designer uh, here, um, Doris Grover, who designed for Christy Yamaguchi her gown for the Oscars as wow. well as Glenn Close's gown for the Oscars wow. not this year but yeah. in previous years yeah. and she gave me a gift she saw me perform and she said I want you to uh, have a dress anyway Joe I enjoyed every moment of well, telling you I about mean, the trip just, and was, thank you for having well, me I, on. Can't, I just can't believe your you know the, the exciting things you did that uh, you know kind of putting this all together and um, I mean it must have taken you quite some time to kind of calm down again. It, yes, I'm not calmed down yet. Yeah. And I hear you're going on a cruise. My first trip to China was on a cruise ship in 1979. Oh, And wow. this was and you were performing full on the circle. I was performing on the ship, went into Shanghai 32 different times. It oh. was the only way you could see China in 1979 was this cruise ship up and down the South China Sea. And this was a Greek registered ship. Now, 30 years later, I visited Beijing and it's I mean, I, I, the changes that you oh, saw. Oh, the changes I saw were phenomenal. They're, they're, they're just building like yeah. that. Well, you read about it in the news, but there's yeah. nothing like experiencing it. And uh, they're still charming and innocent in many ways, as I remember China. They're still growing. Oh, yeah. And I, I just had the most wonderful experience. I would like to go back to Shanghai at some point. And, you know, they have a wonderful way of dealing with bicycles because, you know, that was their first mode of transportation yes. last time in 1979. This time I saw cars, 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 and bicycle lanes. Isn't that amazing? For all the bicycles on the main roads, on the side yeah. roads. They take care of, of all the bicycles. I think we should learn from that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it is amazing. I know, but we were there three years ago, and they said, you know, the symbol of China is the crane, but not, not the bird, the cranes that are building these incredible buildings. Oh, oh, they are. Oh, and, and Shijiazhuang, the city I was in, yeah. uh, they are building five new, fi Five-star hotels, they told me. Three are going up in the next few months because they intend to really, this is already the center of Chinese commerce. Yeah. And from what I understand with the pharmaceutical business, I gather that's growing. And then there's some manufacturing companies. There are factories, of course, yeah. too. I didn't see any, but there's all kinds of things going on. And in uh, Beijing, of course, when I was there, I saw the wonderful acrobats who are just uh, yeah, fabulous. Think, yeah. But I have to tell you that the uh, the music itself, you know, teaching at the university like I did, I met some wonderful students who were very talented, and it just so happened the one night I went to a hotel called, um, oh gosh, the World Plaza Hotel, and my cousin and I went after my workshop. We had a little, you know, something to eat, and there was a lovely piano player, and she was just sitting there playing lovely songs. Turns out she was a student at Hebei Normal uh -oh. University in the music department. So I made a point of commenting to the uh, staff how wonderful it was to see one of their talented students working in a hotel. Yeah, you know, and they do. They need to do more of that. Yeah. the concept of oh, of yeah. nightclub cabarets no, growing. Uh, no, that, that, sure, but is the is the university a, a private, a public university, private university? It's a public university. It's a public university. I'm not quite clear on how this all works yet in okay. China. But this, the uh, students are very well taken care of. They're very serious about their studies. They, you know one thing we loved? They get a nice long lunch break. Wow. Usually the professors and classes take a break from about 11.30 till about 2. Uh -huh. So the students can go home or I guess go wherever they go for a big lunch. Yeah. I love well, it. Well, again, we could talk <laughs> for hours here, but thank you so much for being on the show and sharing you're this with welcome. us. Because it was just I enjoyed just every moment. Really, I wonder next time what you're going to bring us. I mean, it's always something uh, exciting. Uh, something exciting. Yeah. But you too. You yeah. always bring something yeah. exciting. Oh, Joe. Kathy, again, well. Thank you. Again, thank you for keeping us in music. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you.